y'all it's am and i'm here i'm back with another video so today i'm going to be doing my sephora vib sale haul this is going to be the spring edition you guys already know the vib sale haul is going on right now hopefully it'll still be going on when i get this video out but i'm going to do a part one and i'm going to do a part two so go ahead and get yourself a snack get yourself a drink alcoholic not alcoholic honey whatever you need to do to get yourself together to prepare for this goodness of the haul that i am I'm coming to you with on today so i'm very excited about this some of the stuff that i got in store and some of this stuff i got online so i'm gonna go ahead and get right into the video like comment and subscribe so that you could be a part of the glam squad so that you don't miss any of my uploads when i upload these videos these hauls all of these vlogs goodness that i am coming to you with okay so the first item i'm not going in any particular order you guys already know how i do so the first item is by one size this is patrick top this is patrick stars line sorry about that and it is on till dawn this is the mattifying waterproof setting spray and again i've you i actually use this today and i actually really really like this this is the packaging and i'm really excited about seeing how this is going to work out for me right now i've had my makeup on for a while and my makeup is still lasting pretty well the next product i have is going to be the 50 pro brush and this is the sephora brand this is what that product looks like this is actually the powder brush y'all i literally just got this one <laughs> it literally just got delivered to my doorstep right before this video so, so the next item i have here is another sephora brush this is the 71 concealer brush and y'all normally i'm using my beauty blender to blend out my concealer under my eyes and i actually use this today and i really like the it the next product i have here is going to be the nars light reflecting foundation and i actually have this in the color mark medium deep five marquise and i'm very excited about this the girls have been ranting and hooping and hollering about this um foundation and so i'm very excited to try this one the first shade I got, I really thought it was my color, but they confirmed that it was a bit dark. So I went back and got that color. The next product I got here was the Natasha Denona Macro, Macro Tech Eye Crayon. And this is in the color black. And this is a really, really black um, eyeliner. I don't remember who said they were going to haul this one or they thought it was good. But it's really buttery. As you can see, it's very black. And I was definitely in the search of, for a new one. I've been using the one by e.l.f. for the longest. It was cheap. It worked. And, you know, it fit the budget. And, again, it was cheap. So, it really worked well. So, I just decided to step out of my comfort zone and just try a new one. Because I like Nat Natasha Denona, what she does with her um, eye palettes. So, the next product I have I'm so excited about. This is actually the new YSL Bare Look Tint. And I'm very excited about this. This is in the shade number 18. This is what that packaging looks like. I'm so excited to try this makeup product, you guys. I'm so excited about this. So, yeah, this is basically kind of like, I guess, like a um, a skin tint. Like I said, kind of like a, it kind of reminds me of like a BB cream, maybe. I haven't used it, but I'm very excited to try that. So the next product I have here is by Sephora brand as well. This is the brush. This is the number 96 brush. This is actually the blush brush. Now, y'all, I do not know how to do blush. I use a little bit today, and you probably can't even tell because I was scared. I just barely tapped the brush into the products. But I want to get into blushes. I actually want to try the Pat, the Pat McGrath ones. So I might pick those up. I'm not really sure yet, but yeah, I got that for when I decide to, you know. And the next product I have here, the girls have been ranting and raving about this. So I had to pick this up. This is the Airbrush Flawless Finish Complexion Perfecting Micro Powder by Charlotte Tilbury. And I'm in the shade, I got the shade 310. I got this to set my under eye because I was looking to get some brightening products for my under eye and just kind of try a setting powder, uh, um, this kind of micro powder versus the normal just like setting powder that I normally use. I have the, um, what is the name of it? I think it's the Laura Mercier powder, which I still like to set my makeup. But I just want to try this because I've heard really good things about the products. And I actually used it today and I was very impressed. I really like it so far. So we'll see. We're, I'm going to keep using it. This isn't a final um, review or anything like that. You, know, you guys know I'm going to come back and let you know what I feel about the products. Sorry, I'm moving fast, guys, but I have a lot of um, I have a lot of products. And if only y'all knew how many times I tried to record this with my camera, like, oh, my God. So the next product I have here was actually purchased right before the sale. I actually used points for this. So I got it for like 10 bucks and some change. 
this is the airbrush flawless setting spray you guys know i hauled this in my last haul and i love this product i'll be traveling this summer so i wanted to get a mini size because i don't like to take full size of my products so the next product i have here is the sephora 56.5 pro brush this one is for foundation as well so i decided to try this one because again i needed some more foundation brushes i needed more brushes in general and i heard really good things about the sephora brand so i just decided to go ahead and get that so the next product i have here is by smashbox this is the photo finish control mattifying primer so i decided to try this one because i had the other version of their primer um their mattifying primer but i just wanted to try this one because it was something new and i just wanted to see what it was like because i'm oily so i'm always looking for a good primer that's going to help me control my oils and kind of just basically keep my makeup in place honestly for the most part so yeah that's what this product looks like very excited i actually have already tried that one today as well and i've really been liking it so far so we'll see how everything goes the next product i have here is by tower 28 this is actually the milky lip jelly in the shade coconut and this is what that product looks like i'm gonna swatch it for you guys as well but it's kind of like a nudie kind of like a pinky type of products i think i'm gonna like this y'all know i'm obsessed with lip glosses not really too into lipsticks all the time for the most part you're going to catch me in the gloss that's it right here it's got a little bit of a pigment to it in person but i'm excited about that just looking at the formula i think it's going to be pretty moisturizing actually so i'm excited about that so the next product i have here is by nars this is actually the soft matte complete concealer and i got the shade on monday originally i got truffle but then i went back and I just watched a couple of videos from like, you know, you have your foundation twins and they had a Monday and this um, color actually is perfect. I got this to use for my brows. I've heard really good things about this product. So I just decided to go ahead and try it. And I tried it today to kind of clean up my brows, even though they were just still doing what they wanted to do. And I actually liked the product. I didn't it didn't take a lot of product for me to get what I needed. It was very smooth, very creamy on the skin. So I really liked how it glided on my brows. The next product I have here is by Makeup Forever. This is the Matte Velvet Skin Concealer, High Coverage Multi-Use Concealer. It's supposed to last 24 hours, but girl, not me. So I actually got two shades. The first shade I got is 4.5. Um, Jasmine Airedale is kind of like my foundation twin, and she got this. She used this shade um, as her light brightening shade. And I also got the other shade that she uses, which is shade 5.1. I got that one just, that one is more like, it's it's lighter than my skin tone, but it's still, um, it, it wouldn't be as brightening. So I really like that. Love the color of that one. That's that color right there. So I think that's gonna be really good. I actually used that today and it paired really well with the foundation that I used. Which brings me to the next product. So the next product I got, just to piggyback on those items while we're talking about Makeup Forever, the foundation I actually have on today is the Makeup Forever HD Skin, and the and I'm in the shade 4Y66. Very excited to try this product, you guys. I absolutely love this product. Now, this actually looks like skin. Like, it literally matches me perfectly. It looks like skin, and I love it. I also love that love that foundation paired with the Makeup Forever Matte Velvet Skin Concealers. These actually meshed very well together, as you guys can see. I really love those products, so I'm pretty excited to see how they're going to continue to work for me, hopefully. The next product I have here is also by um, YSL. This is the new Blotten Lotion, and this is matte. So I'm really excited to try this one. Jasmine Ardell actually mentioned this one in a couple of her videos. And she actually used this along with and um, separately from the YSL skin tint that I mentioned previously. So I'm really excited to see how this controls my oils. I don't know what to, I'm not expecting like, you know, perfection because I do understand that I am pretty oily. But I'm, I'm okay with some of my oil peeking through. I just don't want my makeup to look as if it's sliding off of my skin. You know, that's not cute. The next product I have here is by One Size as well. This is um in the shade Dark 2 Golden. This is the Turn Up the Base BBB Cream. I'm so proud of Patrick Star, and I really, really am excited about this product. I forgot who mentioned this product, 
but she also used it and I thought it would look so nice. So I wanted to try it for myself just to kind of see how it would look on me. I wanted something that was kind of lighter for like more like work or like every day when I'm when I'm actually in the mood to wear makeup or if I just want to brush something on my skin because I'm just feeling a little extra spicy that day. You know how it goes. The next product I have here is the Dior Added Lip Glow Oil. This is in the shade Rosewood. So when I first went in on the first day of the sale, I did they didn't have any of these. So when I went back again, they actually had the um, Rosewood color, which is this color here. And they had the clear, which I, I actually hauled the clear one in the la um, during the last sale. I really like this one as well. So I did try it on my lips and it does give a little bit of a tint. And I do like that, but I love the formula of these anyway, so I wanted to get another one. The next product I have here is by Kat Von D, honey. This is the Good Apple Lightweight Full Coverage Concealer. And I'm in the shade, I got the shade 10 167. I actually haven't tried this one yet, but I'm pretty excited because child, if Pat can cover, not Pat, if Kat, if Kat can cover up some tattoos, honey, with her products, I'm pretty sure that she can cover up a, a few bags, honey. So this is the color that I got. I'm going to swatch it for you guys. It's actually right here. This is the Kat Von D one. Camera focus. This is the Kat Von D one. And this is the uh, Makeup Forever one. So pretty excited about both of those products. But this Kat Von D, honey, I think I have high hopes for it. I wanted to try originally the, um, I think there's a Good Apple Foundation. But it sold out. And first of all, I didn't know my um, shade. And second of all, I never went back and checked to even see if it was back on the site during the sale so the next product i have here is by kosas this is actually a concealer honey the girls have been ranting and raving about this brand so i'm so excited to try this i actually got the color 8w i want to say or 8 um the color 8 just in general i think this color will be really good too and i could always mix it with one of my other ones but that is the kosas concealer next to the matte uh makeup forever so I'm really excited to try this one as well. The girls have been ranting and raving and saying how this one is good as well. So I was in the market for some brightening concealers this sale. So that was what I was focusing on. So the next product I got was um, the Sephora Translucent Setting Powder. Now y'all, originally I wasn't even going to get this powder child, but I just decided to go ahead and get it because I watched just a random makeup video and she used this and she's oily like me. And so I was like, okay, I've seen multiple people rant about this product so i'm just gonna get the small one because i knew i was getting the charlotte tilbury one well i had already purchased the charlotte tilbury one and i still have my laura mercier so the next product i have here is by item beauty i'm so excited about these i love lip oils this is the lip quip lip oil in the shade hey y'all i'm so excited about this everybody has been talking about this lip oil and i'm just excited to try it for myself I, the next product i have here is a sephora brand 70 pro brush this is actually the foundation brush i actually used this one today and i really 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 liked it i was so surprised with how dense and how dense it was it was soft but it was still really dense my product buffed into my face really well yes again like i said y'all i'm trying to step out of my comfort zone when it comes down to the makeup products and like the tools and things like that so i was pretty impressed and i am i stand the support the sephora brand brushes y'all were right last but not least the next product i have is the item beauty this is another lip quip oil child i didn't even i wasn't even supposed to get this one okay i went in for hey all and on another trip back to sephora i ended up getting this one i know it was um when i looked online it was sold out when i was making my order so I, I was in store and I was just passing by just being nosy child. And I actually seen where this was the last one on the shelf. So I was so excited. Y'all should have seen me snatching it up. I almost broke a nail, honey. There was, I already had three on that hand. But I got it and I'm so excited. I love the way these kind of smell. And I just love the, ooh, it smells like very delicious. But, but that concludes this portion of my haul again you guys already know i'm gonna come back with part two and that's gonna be skincare for the most part i just wanted to go ahead and get the makeup out of the way let you guys know what i purchased if you guys like any of these products or if you guys are planning to buy any of these products please let me know let's discuss it down in the comments y'all know i love a good convo about products new products what you guys liked about it what you didn't like about it what you're gonna haul what you guys are thinking about going back to get after watching hauls let me know in the comments again. Thank you guys for watching. I appreciate you. I really hope you guys enjoy this video and I'll see you guys in the next one.